Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here and tuning in. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll find these tutorials helpful for you. Today we're going to focus on painting a big ship here with a nice big sun with some orange and red clouds going over it. I'm really excited about this. I'd like to thank my patrons who helped me choose the topic. Thank you guys for your continued support and help me choose uh, the, the lessons and topic. So let's get straight to it and go over the materials needed for today. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. You could use any canvas you have available, totally up to you, um, but that's what I'm using today. For paints, we're gonna use our 24 set acrylics, which are right here, and I'll show you exactly which colors we're gonna use from this set. We need titanium white, medium yellow, orange, Scarlet, Phthalo Blue, Violet, Gray, and Lamb Black. Any acrylics that you have available will work for this tutorial. And really, any of my tutorials, you could totally use what you want and, uh, you know, what you choose. Everything's up to you. But I'd like to remind you that these are back in stock. If you're interested, there's a link down below in the description. And you could also play around with different kind of shades of colors here for this lesson as well. Um, but that's the colors that we're going to be using for this lesson. And it's, again, up to you how you want to add, you know, little details. And for brushes, we need a couple of these blending brushes. These are exactly the same, just different color. For one, uh, one of them I use to lay down my colors first and then the second one I use dry to blend everything. But if you have one, I would recommend using a different brush to lay down your colors first with water and you know paint and then your dry blending brush to softly blend and dry everything in if you have one. I always recommend two, I like using two. Um, and sometimes for bigger projects, bigger canvases, I use multiple of my blending brushes. We need couple of these artist slot brushes. This is a number four. Any half an inch flat brush. And any detail brush. We need a palette and a palette knife to mix your paint. I'm using a palette paper. It saves a lot of time because once I'm done, I just bunch it up and throw it away. And there's a bunch of sheets in them. You can see, but any palette will work. A jar of water, some paper towels, and if you have a hair blower dryer to quickly dry out your first layers, um, you could use that. Today I don't have uh, a dryer, so I'm going to wait after I, uh, we're done with the first um, layering of our background and wait till it dries. It usually dries within, you know, between between 10 to 30 minutes, somewhere around there. Depends on how thick you, you put the paint on your canvas. And all these materials are available. There's links to them down below in the description. So we're gonna work from the furthest distance to the closest, and we're gonna add the sky first. And I'm gonna cover everything. I'm gonna cover the whole canvas. And the ocean is gonna be about this much. So it's not gonna take that, that much um, of the canvas, the ocean, because the ship, we want to make it nice and tall and big. So if I put the ocean higher, the ship might be smaller. You know, you're going to have to make it smaller for the distance, but I want to make it like, you know, a little bit bigger. So I'm going to add it right somewhere around here, um, the, the ship here, and then the sun is going to be pretty big right next to it. Um, that's the plan. Let's see what happens. We're going to lay the background sky first and then work on our sun and then we're going to add the ocean quickly and then we're going to add the last thing is the ship and then all the details. All right, let's get started on mixing some colors. Let's pick up our palette and titanium white and we're going to create about three colors. So I'm going to squeeze out about this much and create three of these, okay? Right there. So about, you know, a little more than a thumb amount. Now let's pick up gray. 
and add a little bit here and a little bit here, small touch. Now let's pick up orange and add it right in here, small amount and maybe a touch here. Now let's pick up thalo blue and add it right in here, about this much, and then maybe a little bit here, like this. Let's pick up violet and add violet right in here, about this much, and then maybe one next to it, like this. Thumb amount, okay? And doesn't have to necessarily be exactly the exact same amount like mine I'm showing here. If yours is a little bit, you know, if you added a little too much or a little not not as much, that's that's okay. Don't worry about having it exactly the same. Let's add cadmium or medium yellow. Let's add it right in here. That's going to be for the sun, and you know we'll play with that yellow. But let's quickly mix everything and see what colors it gives us. And then if we need to add any other color, we'll, we will. But let's just mix this real quick. Palette knife. Let's start with the lightest color. This orange with white. Okay, that's good right there. Mix it all and chop it up like you're chopping vegetables. There you go. Next one, this color. Let's see what it gives us. And the reason why I added the gray, I want to, because gray has, um, it's, has a touch of black to the white and it, it dulls the color. So it makes it more neutral. And that's why I wanted the background to be a little bit neutral, not too much color in the background. I really want the sun area to stand out and the ship to stand out. So there you go. You could see it looks, um, it's leaning towards um, like a bluish gray. And that's good. That's what we want. Next, this should start leaning towards a darker kind of uh, blue, more to the violet side. But still, you know, the color should be um, neutral because of the gray I added. Okay, and then our final color here, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take part of this, okay, about this much right here, and then I'm going to mix it in with this. And it's okay if you have a little bit of, you know, your other colors in here. That's fine. When we put these colors onto the canvas, we'll all blend it, all of this in so um, it'll almost like neutralize everything. We want the background to be, you know, not crazy, you know, dramatic changes of colors because we want to focus on having the ship stand out. So we want a nice softer transition between the colors and that will really make your ship and sun stand out. But that's, that's perfect right there. We have a nice transition. Basically what we want is a transition from a darker color going into like a lighter color. And that's what we have here. Um, let's see now what happens onto the canvas. Let's start adding these colors and see what we get. All right, I always like to clean my palette knife quickly, not to, you know, quickly wipe it off so that the paint won't dry. And now let's pick up 
one of our blending brushes, doesn't matter which one. So I'm gonna pick up this one and my water and I'm gonna dab it all the way in, all the way in and squeeze part of it out. Not, not all of it, part of it, okay? So if I squeeze a little bit harder, you could see more water coming out, right? We want water to be in there. Water helps it from not drying too fast. And I don't use any mediums to my acrylics. I use acrylics and just water. And, uh, and water helps. I tried using mediums, but I didn't like the way it, it, you know, it just becomes chunky or it just looks a little rubbery or something. I never liked using mediums. Water to me works the best. So I have some water in my brush um, and now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with, let's start out with adding our lighter colors. So I'm gonna, um, my brush has some water in there and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take part of this yellow to, you see I had some water in there, that's okay. I'm gonna take, so if you have too much water, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out so it won't, you know, there you go, so that it won't drip like this. Wipe it off with a paper towel. Okay, let's take part of the yellow and quickly, you know, we're gonna sketch it out quickly where we want the sun to be. I'm guessing it's gonna be not in the middle, but a little off center, so I'm, I'm gonna add it somewhere in here, somewhere in here. Okay, it's gonna be somewhere in there. It doesn't have to be perfect but we want to add a little bit of that yellow. Obviously, we'll detail everything later, but one, an idea, right? So now let's, since my brush still has water in there, I'm gonna go ahead and use this light orange color, and I'm gonna add some of the, you know, orange around. And every time I'm gonna dab my brush, the tip in the water so that I can, so my brush continues staying wet, and I'm going to, um, you know, add, more um so i'm going to dab my brush in the water again and pick up more orange and maybe go all the way follow through you know something like that dab my brush in the water again pick up this orange maybe add it right in here okay maybe all the way i'm not going to use all of it but something like this Okay, so now I'm gonna try to clean a little bit of it out. And the way I do it is I don't dab it, I don't damage my, you know, I'm taking care of my blending brush. So I'm lightly going like this. I'm not even pressing on the bottom. I'm just going lightly up and down like this. And I'm gonna squeeze part of the water out so I won't have too much water. And I'm gonna continue since you see water helps it from drying. So I'm gonna continue and now I will add, um, I'm going to add this color next. And I'm going to add it in the, on the bottom here. I'm going to add it right in here. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water, pick up more of this color, and cover. You know, and remember that ocean's going to be in the bottom here, but we're going to focus on the sky first. So I'm going to add it right in here, going back and forth, dabbing my brush in the water, just the tip, and picking up more of the color yeah i'm gonna stop right there i'm not gonna add too much and i'm gonna also add a little bit of this color for fun right in here somewhere and that's okay if your water is dripping we're gonna fix that don't worry about it like that and a little more maybe like this all right that's good enough now i'm gonna continue maybe pick up this color next and add it right in here and don't worry about going over and covering the sun we just wanted an idea where we wanted the sun to be right so i'm going to add this right in here mix it in with your orange um, dab, dab my brush in the water again continue maybe add it this color right in here mix it all in Okay, now our final color is gonna be the darkest, this purple. Let's cover everything with this purple. I like this purple a lot. 
So cover everything. Make sure you don't add too thick of a coat, but also not too thin. So um, dab my brush in the water again. Let's add this purple right in here in the sky. Cover our whole sky. And I'm not pressing too hard, okay? Something like that. Dab my brush in the water. Take the remaining of the color that you have left and blend it all in. Put it all over. Maybe dab my brush in the water and pick up the remainder of the colors that you have here. It doesn't really matter. Blend it all in lightly. Go back and forth. You don't need to cover. Leave some of them as they are. All right. You could see it's almost neutral, right? We That's what we want. We want it to be nice and kind of neutral. So there you go. Once I added that, now uh, my brush or my background is covered and it's still wet, right? And so now I'm going to put my blending brush down and I'm going to pick up my second blending brush, which is dry. And I'm going to start off with the lighter area and I'm going to go back and forth lightly working dry, go back and forth and kind of blend in everything from the lightest to the darkest. Even if you carry some of the um, some of the darks with mixing mixing in with the lights, that's totally fine. But barely press, don't force it. Um, barely press, and whatever turns out for you, that's keep it. Don't you know? It's okay. There's no right or wrong. This is a sky. Skies are always different, but we want a nice, quick blend. So. You go from the lighter areas. First, I, you know, go back and forth. And you see it's covering all the areas where you could see the background canvas because my brush is soft and is dry. So um, it really pulls the paint and fills in those holes the areas where um, the first layer didn't cover it. You could see a rough blend. Now I can swirl and go like this, but I'm going to keep it, um, keep it, you know, kind of dragged. I like it for this piece. And I'm going to softly, I'm barely pressing again, softly go back and forth until I cover all the canvas showing from behind because of the water. Um, it didn't cover everything. And don't press hard. Remember, I'm pressing lightly. You can move around, walk around your canvas, you know, get comfortable and find your comfort and have fun with this. Blend it all in gently. It blends the best when you add a right amount of paint onto your canvas. But if you added too much paint, it'll be a little bit harder to, um, you know, blend because you have chunkiness going on and it will work but I recommend practicing and once you get the technique down it's a lot of fun you could do a lot of beautiful blends you could see the colors um, you could see different light variation of colors in our sky right but it's still kind of neutral and that's what we want for this piece There you go. So while this dries, I'm going to quickly clean out my blending brushes so they won't sit in the water too long. And we'll continue from there. 
Okay, I got my water, new water, and my brushes are clean. Let's create some colors to detail our sun. We're going to focus mainly on, you know, adding the clouds and, and the sun here. But the background is pretty much done. So let's pick up a sc scarlet and add it right next to the orange here. We're going to, you know, save this color and uh, make sure we don't let some of these colors go to waste. Um, but about this much, not too much. And then let's add the violet. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna mix part of this orange. I'm gonna leave part of it. Maybe I'm, I'm gonna use some of this orange, um, but mix it with this red, um, the red to brighten it a little bit. It'll give me a, like a pink color, a dark pink color. In fact, actually what I'm gonna do is make it even brighter um, and add some white in it. Okay, so a little bit of white. I wanna brighten it because I wanna add this pink glow under the light areas right here. And I don't want it to be too dark. Okay, something like this, okay? And now I'm gonna mix the remaining colors that we have here. Doesn't matter, pick up whatever you have left a little bit, but we wanted this to be the darkest, darker than any color on our canvas that we already had it laid out here. So, um, but not too dark, that's why I had it mixed with a little bit of white on each color because once we add the ship here, we want the ship to be darker than our background. Because if you make the background very dark, then it'll be hard to see the ship. So we want this to be about like this. You could see it's the darkest. So I decided to add um, I've been looking at it and I decided to add, I want to make this a little more darker. And the way to do that is by adding a little bit of black. You could see a touch of black right here. Um, or even adding red will make it darker as well. But I wanted to make it look more like neutral. Um, so I took part of the black, very small amount you could see. Um, and I'm going to mix it with my purple right in here. And I'm going to see if it darkened it. If not, then take more and mix it all in. And I think we're ready to add some details. I'm gonna add titanium white on the top right here somewhere. And we're gonna continue using white and this medium yellow here. And with these colors, we'll detail our background and then we'll continue on and add the ocean and then the ship. There you go, that's nice right there, dark purple. You could still see the color and it's not too dark. Perfect. Let's pick up our number four, Artist Loft brush right here. We're gonna dab it in the water all the way so it could be nice and damp and squeeze the water out, let it soak in and um, and it becomes nice and soft, okay? And now what we're gonna do is start off with, um, start off with this pink that we have mixed here, okay? This pink, and let's, you know, the, the sun is gonna be, I'm gonna make it bigger, of course, but um, I'm guessing, you know, I'm gonna draw like a, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be it's gonna be around here and then I feel like we should cover it somewhere right in here. So it's gonna be pretty big as you could see. But I want this pink in our sky. 
So you can see I'm going to blend this out. Because my brush is damp, it, um, it blends in with the background color nicely. So you can see I'm not spending too much time on making it, you know, perfect. We'll obviously go back and detail our sun better. But I want to make the sky pink right in here. Maybe add some right in here as well. Cover that up. Okay. Add that pink in here. I'm going to dab my brush in the water. And, oh, I forgot to add some white, so I'm going to quickly add some white on my palette because I'm going to play around with the colors. So I'm looking at the color here and you could see some of the pink is a little bit darker because it's mixing with our background darker color, right? And so um, if you don't want, like I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm going to mix it in with my white here. And my brush is damp, right? I'm going to play around with these colors and make the, the pink a little bit more lighter so that um, it could stand out. So um, I'm going to add some pink. I, I want it to be light, not too dark. Um, but I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water and use this pink. And if you have too much water, dab it in the paper towel quickly and then you will, it will um, work better. So I'm going to leave some of this orange that we have mixed, the background orange, but I want this to be more pink and I'm going back and forth Mix it in. And it's okay, there's no right or wrong how your clouds will turn out. I'm just blending it in like this, right? I'm going to now continue with this pink and I'm going to add some, I'm going to add some in here. I'm going to dab my brush lightly in the water so it can run smoothly with the paint that I have here. So I'm going to go over some of this area. Again, we're going to go over the sun. so. We just want to have that nice pink glow in our background. So I added more water and a little bit of this color. And fade it out. draw a little bit more of this pink up in here, up in the sky, right in here, lightly, and fade it out like that, and a few more. So I want this to be almost the same as what we did over here. A little more pink in my sky. Blend it all in, cover it, it's totally fine. We're adding layers now. Let's 
cover that green. I want it to be more leaning towards pink, my background sky. Okay, so a little more of this color. Maybe right in here. And fade it out. continue. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this pink going up. And I'm going to swirl to carry that up and blend it in with my background. This part, there's no right or wrong. We just want a little bit of pink in our sky mixed with our background color like this. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna darken some of the, the um, around the sun, I wanna make it a little dark so that we can really make the sun stand out, right? So I'm gonna make some of the darker areas around the sun, okay? So using the same brush, um, I dab my brush in the water and I added orange and some red. And, I, and you know, I'll play around to see which one I need to use, but let's pick up our red, maybe mix it in with orange and around the sun and it's okay if you go over uh, you know on the sun a little bit because we're gonna um, we're gonna detail that um, the sun once we had all our background detail in our sky so I'm gonna dab my brush in the water so that it'll run smooth and I want to really you know, add my darks right in here around the sun. I'm gonna stop right there. Not all the way, but you could see just a little bit. So now I'm gonna dry my brush onto the paper towel. Just dry it out, you don't need to clean it. And I'm gonna swirl and blend in this red with the background color. Now if you need to, you can um, see I swirl and blend it out. Swirl and blend out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna mess around with this pink maybe too. Press a little bit harder to really blend the colors out. Remember, these are clouds, so there's no right or wrong. You just want to get an idea, basically, you know, the, the way the sun looks, the glow of the sun. Otherwise, your clouds could be shaped differently. So now I'm gonna add the darks. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water, lightly dim, and use this darkest color. Remember this color? This dark purple color, violet. Um, now we're gonna add some dark around our sun. And blend it out like we did with the, um, the red. Kind of blend it out lightly up into the sky. 
we might even have to make it darker but that's okay we will we can add some more black there's no mistakes so something like that so i'm gonna dab my brush in the water and dab it onto the paper towel and since my brush is damp it has a little bit of water in it i'm going to focus on carrying this purple up a little bit something like that okay you could see the dark area right here around the sun so we're going to do the same thing and we're going to add it some of them right here and fade it out so we're going to pick more of this color and let's cut straight across the sun now we're going to like i said we're going to go over and really make our sun stand out and maybe even make it bigger um, but we want to quickly shape out the way we want it to look right so maybe here something like that I'm going to dab my brush in the water and dry it out onto the paper towel so it could be damp. Now, I don't clean my brush, I just dab it in the water and just to so that my brush won't dry because it's easier to blend these colors out with your background color. So, and then I lightly swirl the areas where I want it to be a little more blend and fade those colors out okay all right so before we you know add more details and in, into our sun let's um let's detail our sun so i'm going to clean my brush out and I'm going to use the same brush for now. And first thing I'm going to do is, you know, grab the white, mix it in with the, with the yellow. We, we want to thicken this out and make it even brighter. So I want to make it, this is where you want to eyeball it and you know, make a circle, make that um, shape of the sun as perfect as you want. But I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm gonna let it fade out into the clouds. So about right there. And this color here, I'm going to blend it all in with my background colors. You see how that starting to stand out a little more? It's all about the adding layers and details. And the more layers you start to add, it really starts to come to life. So I'm going to bring that light, that sun. Maybe there's some of these clouds went down, you know. So I'm going to have it fade out like this. So I'm going to ship out my sun, make it as perfect as I want, keeping it 
you know, circular. And I'm going to add a little bit of it right in here. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this yellow, maybe mix it in with the orange to darken it a little bit. And let's pretend that it goes all the way down. Somewhere in here. So I'm going to play around with this orange and add this darker orange right in here. This is where I'm going to add the shape on this side. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe brighten it a little bit. I'm going to continue adding some of this orange, mix it in with the yellow, and I want to darken it right in here. I want to add some dark orange from the glow of the, of the sun here. Now I'm going to put my brush down and pick up the detail brush and add a little bit of the, mix it in with the yellow maybe, white, and dab my brush in the water so it could be nice and damp, swirl it, and I want to lighten and shape out my sun. So to make it more defined. more circular.
So now I'm going to clean my detail brush and pick up my number four again, clean it out, dry it onto the paper towel so it's still nice and damp. And I'm going to pick up this light color again with white and continue brighten, brightening some of this, you know, some of these areas where I want it to be lighter. Okay, mix it in with yellow and brighten. brush in the water dry it out so it could be damp again and let's add some orange brighter orange and this part you know these orange and all these things are clouds so um, there's no like I said there's no right or wrong how you do this it's up to you we're just adding details and seeing what happens. I'm going to add a little bit of orange. And we'll continue playing with white and yellow. Mix it in. My brush is damp. And continue adding your lighter colors. I want this area to be bright right here. Because um, I want it to stand out a little more. But maybe have it fade. Maybe not everywhere. You know have it fade in there somewhere. You could use your finger, sometimes using your finger helps. To blend. And blend it all in with your background colors doesn't have to be perfect but we want this to area to be bright that's what we want the rest And let's add some orange. I'm going to dab my brush in the water and a little bit of orange with some water. And I'm going to continue adding that orange in here. To add a few details. We could be done, but I want to add some darker orange ones in here. Maybe even on top right here. I'm going to clean my brush because it has some white in there. Okay, so. I added a little more orange. I was running out. And I'm going to add some in here. It'll really make it glow. Maybe mix it in. This orange with this dark purple. Remember we added? And blend it out to the purple. But don't blend it out all the way. Blend this orange in with your water. Okay, so let's continue doing that. 
maybe even in here. Add that orange glow. Lighter on that sun. Okay, continue adding that orange in here. I want to make this a little darker. ones, little clouds in here. Okay, something like that. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water because it's drying and lightly, very little, you could see, not much orange, mainly water. I'm gonna lightly, transparently add it a little bit in here. Now I'm going to continue adding, um, adding this purple and I'll add a little bit more with water, this dark purple alongside some of this area. I want to darken, continue, you know, darken and kind of blend it out a little more lightly. bit in here yeah, a little more color so it won't yeah there you go so maybe even add this red let's add this red for fun let's add it on some of the areas here on these clouds. Let's make it stand out a little more. So it'll look more interesting. And lightly blend it around. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water lightly again 
and pick up more red lightly. And my brush is damp. And I'm going to add a few more of this red mixed with my orange. It'll create a darker we go around right in here. This is totally up to you how much details you want to add and clouds you want to add, but I like it to be dramatic looking. So that's why I'm adding a little more time, spending a little more time on this part. But if you're, if you're happy with your sun and the way it looks, we can continue. All right, and you can spend a little bit more time fading out, maybe using this purple lightly with some water. You can fade out some of these areas all the way and lightly. We want this to be dark and bright too. We don't want it to, you know, add too much darks on the edges. I like it more, you know, the way we have it right now. So I'm not, I'm just slightly gonna fade it out and spend a little time doing that, but not adding too much dark. So it could look like a nice smooth transition going into our sun. Okay, maybe some here. You see, I'm not adding too much, but I want to make sure it's balanced, like the it's coming in, you know what I mean? So play around the way, you know, the way you want it to make it look is always going to be up to you and how much time you spend on a piece. So I'll add a few more little details and then we'll move on. We can always come back to this part later. But I think that's good enough for now. Maybe a little bit more right in here, right, right in here and fade it out. Maybe same thing on this one. And have it fade out. Okay. All right, that's good enough. We will, we can always come back to this part later once we have the boat and everything done, but the sun and the background is done. And now we can um, continue adding the ocean. All right, so now once you're done, you know, adding all the details you want, let's draw our ocean. So our ocean, like I said, it's going to be somewhere around this high, somewhere there. And what I added, I ripped out my palette. It was getting a little messy and I um, added, you know, have a new paper palette here. And what I added here was violet, yellow blue, and a little bit of gray. Not too much, you know. Let's quickly mix that and see what it gives us. 
after this will be our ocean color. So that will be a nice base for our ocean color. We want it to be darker than the sky here for the ocean, okay? So maybe I'm gonna add a little bit more violet to this real quick. All right, so I'm gonna take part of this color and mix it with my violet. This will be a little bit darker. And this should do it for our ocean color. So these two colors, and then we will obviously add more um, little details. But here we have it like this. Do we like that? I'm looking at it and seeing if I like it. I think the violet is a little too violet. So what I'm going to do is add the gray, a little bit of gray to it. So it can make it a little dull and not too um, colorful right there just a touch of gray quickly mix that in there so basically these two colors um, look almost the same this one's uh, a shade darker there you go all right so now we will cover the ocean and what I'm gonna do clean up my palette knife this and now I'm going to pick up my half an inch flat brush dab it in the water all the way and let's start off with this color and so I'm going to eyeball it you can use masking tape to do this quickly if you'd like and draw out your tape it you know and um, draw out your ocean but I'm going to eyeball it and so I'm going to start from here that's where it where it ends right right there so i'm just gonna eyeball it and go straight across so maybe actually i'm gonna use masking tape okay so i decided to use masking tape to to speed this up a little faster so here it is and I'm just gonna eyeball it so go right across and I'm guessing somewhere around here maybe a little lower so if you want you can measure it with your measuring stick or you could sometimes I just go like this you know and make sure the height is even that's pretty close that's good enough all right so now i'm gonna press on the bottom part right here and make sure it's taped make sure it's nice and solid and once we have that we can lightly with our flat brush lightly cover it okay using this color now our ship is gonna be somewhere around here so i'm not gonna spend too much time on covering this area but focus on your other parts so something like this okay. and now I'm going to pick up one of my blending brushes right here and dab it in the water kind of with what we did with the background I'm going to squeeze it out and to save time you know and pick up the rest of this color and let's spread it everywhere let's just add it everywhere all of it cover the canvas okay maybe even this dark one remember cover it all okay. 
And once that is covered, you can, you know, blend, lightly press, and, and cover all the canvas so that white won't show. Okay, something like that, that's good enough. Now we can take, take this off and we have a nice straight line across, nice horizon line across. Okay, now I added some white, a little bit of scarlet red, and then phthalo blue right here. I'm gonna quickly mix that. Let's see what it gives us. I want a nice light color with a little bit of pink in there. That's nice. So it looks like violet, right? I mean, you could have added violet to it, but um, I wanted that phthalo blue color in there as well. That's why I chose that. But you could see it's a lighter color. And now we will pick up our um, half an inch again. So I'm going to clean it take out the dark colors and dry it out onto the paper towel right here. And then now we can pick up this light color and add some far away, you know, maybe I'm going to dab my brush in the water so you can and lightly add some water reflections. And you can use your finger to blend it all in and so it won't look too um, perfect. So lightly with water in this color, we're going to randomly add it. Right in here. And as you get closer, we're going to add So I'm going to use my finger to so make sure your background is um, my background is not dry but it's easier to actually work when it is dry so and this part doesn't have to be too crazy you know add um, a few of these and so it won't all be one color. And lightly blend it in like this. Okay, now I'm not going to add and spend too much time on adding details of the ocean yet. I just want to quickly get a, an idea down and then we're going to go back and add a few more details. But for now, I'm going to add a few more and then we'll continue and now sketch out our boat. Um, and then we can come back with adding all these little details to our water to whatever we want, okay? So I'm gonna add a few more. Using this color. You can see I'm dabbing my brush and kind of carrying the paint around. A few 
few more little ones. Something like that. All right, oops. And I'm going to actually add a little bit of black to, um, to create a little bit of the some detail in my ocean. I decided to do that. So make sure your palette knife is clean from the light colors and take the remainder color you have left. Mix it in with a little bit of black. See, I didn't take all of it, but a touch of it. I want it to be not pure black, but to have a little bit of that. Um, so I'm going to clean my half an inch brush of the darker tone. Darker tone. And then on some of these far away ones, I want to darken it. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water so it can run smoothly. continue adding these dark maybe there's some in here some reflections and I'm playing around with so I'm going to dab my brush again in the water, maybe take a little more black, mix it in with water, and add some on this side. But I don't want to overdo it. something like this all right that's good enough for now we can come back and you know add more details in a little bit but that's good enough for now okay let's move on and sketch out our ship actually before we continue I want to brighten just this area right here make sure it's dry and I'm going to use my blending brush and dab it in the water and lightly squeeze it out so it could be, so there's some water still in here. And remember this color we have mixed, the lighter one. I'm going to take a little bit of it, a little bit. See, it's not too much. And I'm going to go back and forth um, right in here, brighten some of this area right in here. Okay. Um, again, the boat is going to be somewhere in here. So I'm not going to worry about that. But I want to brighten some of this area in here. my background maybe even go over on top a little bit and fade it out okay something like that all right 
Okay, we'll come back to the water, you know, in a little bit. Let's sketch out our ship. And this is what I have. I have black and scarlet red. And then I added white straight out of the tube and gray. And I'll probably use this color and play around with these three um, colors for my color of the ship. And then we'll have these colors. And then from there, we will add more. But let's quickly mix um, this color. This will be our darkest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this color. I'm this um, maybe take part of this gray so it won't be so dark and we can see the hint of red in there. This will be our main darkest color in this painting. Okay, there you go. And the rest we don't need to mix. There. So now we are going to sketch out our boat. I'm going to quickly wipe this off. Now let's sketch our boat out and I'm going to pick up my half an inch flat brush. I'm going to clean it up, dry it onto the paper towel like this. And let's, let's just sketch the boat and, you know, shape it out. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm thinking which color. Let's just use this darkest color we have here. I'm going to dab my brush in the water and with water and a little bit of this darkest color that we have mixed. I'm going to, this is where you plan how you want your ship to look and where you want to place it, right? So I'm going to draw. So the bottom of our ship, let's have it be right in here. So our bottom it's going to be somewhere right in here. Okay, something like that. So now, um, now I'm going to sketch it out. So I'm going to go up probably this high. I'm going to go add an angle using this color and water. And here, and then I'm gonna have it end somewhere right in here. So it's gonna be off-centered. Maybe a little further, something like this. Okay, so this will be like our peak. Somewhere in here. And then something like that. Now I'm sketching it out first. Okay. And let's draw. Okay. Let's draw a little, you know, where the people hide inside in this ship. They like to hide somewhere in there. So it's going to be windows will be here. So this is where we draw our tall, whatever you call them, sticks. Sorry, guys. For my English, I am still learning it myself. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna do one right in here. 
try to go as straight as I can. Okay. If you want to make it straighter, you know, and, and spend more time on it, obviously, what will help is using masking tape, okay? So, if you want to use masking tape for this part, you can. I'm just eyeballing it first. So, one here and then one next to it. About the same height. Okay, and then I'm going to add one more right in here. And then one more right in here, about this high. Okay. Now, obviously, I can make this a little bigger. We'll work on detailing. Okay, so now we have that quickly sketched out. Now I'm going to draw another main important part. is these so one that will go in here about sideways like this and then maybe one that is right underneath and it will stick out a little further okay and then for this one one's going to stick out even further. Something like that. Okay, now let's continue drawing some more of these. Let's draw a little longer ones right across. Draw. Let's draw one on the bottom. Let's make it wider. So starting from my guess is we're going to cover this part and it's going to go a little wider than the ship so somewhere right in here and go straight across and it's okay if you make a little bit of of, of the mistake and we're going to stop like right in here we don't want to go past this edge of the boat but we do want to put past this corner Now we're going to continue with water and black. We're going to draw one underneath. Similar idea. But a little longer. See, I'm not worried about making it too straight because I'm just sketching it out first. And then we'll work on detailing it later. So now let's add. Let's add. ones that go right here so starting right here and one 
that will go not as long as this, but almost. And it will go. somewhere right in here and then maybe one in here and one further behind in there somewhere and let's add a few more in here And one more. Something like this. Okay. And now we can use a little less water and this is where you can spend as much time as you want but I'm gonna quickly sketch it out so we can have an idea um, but that's what I like to do I like to quickly sketch everything out and then I go back in detail and that's where it takes the most time but um, it's totally up to you how much you want to add okay so now I'm going back and trying to straighten these out as best as I could um, now, I'm not going to spend too much time on doing that. You get the idea. You get what I'm trying to do and trying to achieve, trying to make these straight now. Um, but I'm going to quickly sketch that out for you guys. And it'll be up to you how straight you want them, okay? So I'm going to continue detailing with just black. You don't need to add water anymore. So, make these a little thicker. That's what I'm doing right now. Just making them thicker and straighter. Okay, something like that. And let's make this one darker and thicker as well. Let's bring him a little bit higher. Okay, something like that. And same thing with these. And don't worry about trying to make him perfect because once we add all the strings and, you know, uh, the ropes on our ship, it'll all like come together nicely. We just want to thicken the darker areas and try to straighten the best we can. Some of these are at an angle like this one. Okay, and a few more details. Maybe these are not as thick. something like that. Let's fill in our ship with the color. So what I'm going to do is use 
this gray and play around with the black. So I have a little bit of black in my paint, so that's okay. So I'm gonna add it. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this black and add it right in here. Create a nice shadow, right? And mix it in with the gray. And then here, I'm gonna pick up the white, maybe this blue, and add that in here. And add more white on this side. It does not have to be perfect. So let's add the gray. I want this to be a little darker. Okay, and then maybe even whatever color, the blue. Um, lighten this right in here. And continue on, maybe take this blue, mix it in with the white, and let's cover this area. Let's cover all this, maybe add the white in here. And then a little bit of the black, and you don't need to clean your brush. We're just filling in the first base of our color of the ship, okay? So maybe we'll make this a little bit bigger here. So now I'm gonna quickly blend everything in lightly to take away a little bit of the thickness of the paint. Now you could totally make it look, you know, as realistic as you want it, totally up to you. Okay, now I'm gonna add the black and I'm gonna Pretend there's windows and And now I'm gonna use the black and add right on this side of the edge of this boat, I'm gonna add a little stick, dark 
stick which will hold all the strings right in here somewhere okay and it's going to stick out a little bit here Let me add the black and have it go like this and then somewhere like this, fade it out over there. Let's add the black on the bottom. You can see I'm sketching. I'm not detailing anything yet. I'm shaping everything. And this is important to do this, to shape everything out. and darken this side. Maybe add the white and fill in this area a little bit, clean it out. All right, we're gonna add the details later. Let's add some strings. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean my brush, use the same brush right here, and make sure my brush is damp. You can see it has some water in there. So I'm gonna pick up that with water, black with water, and let's just randomly add the strains. Let's start from the top. So lightly, lightly add some strains. Don't make them too thick, okay? Now you could use a detail brush if it's easier for you to do that, okay? But some of them you can cover with you know, some, some strings are a little bit darker or thicker, I mean. So. Okay. Don't worry about trying to make it perfect. So black and a little bit of this color. Let's do that right in here. Remember this?
let's see I am adding a whole bunch of random strings that perfect make it very busy looking you know how ships have a bunch of strings on them and same thing here connect all these beautiful strings together maybe there's some that are in here Make it look busy. In here, especially inside, add a bunch of little ones. Dab my brush in water and continue. especially inside. And we're playing only with the black. Maybe a few more in here. Remember, make it as busy as you want. Connecting all the strains from one wood to another okay so that's good enough 
let's just stop there and then we can come back and add a few more so now that we have a quick sketch right now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna dab my brush in the water and use this white maybe even mix it in with the blue it doesn't matter a little bit so and I'm going to with the white and water doing the same thing but remember the sun is here so I'm going to add you know some highlights on some of these not everywhere but on some of them Okay, something like that and let's continue maybe add it right on some of these okay dab my brush in the water and continue something like that real quick and if you add it too much you can you know go back and do yeah add your blacks and cover it up but we'll continue with this color and go over some of these strings maybe add some that are right next to them especially these this area because of the light hitting it so make sure your brush is damp it runs smoothly dab it in the water and randomly add a few in here Maybe on the pole, make it a little more brighter. And maybe some add some of the light ones maybe you know there's something in here it'll really make it look more detailed and interesting when you add these little details in your painting the 
don't worry about trying to be perfect okay and you can go back with the dark and go over some of them and shape it out a little bit who knows what they are they're um those things they're up and folded i forgot how you call them my apologies So maybe I'll add a few more. I kind of like that. Maybe in here. Let's add some in here. And you can add some white and brighten some of them. Maybe the light is hitting them and they stand out a little more. Okay, so I added, I mixed a little bit more black as I was running out, doing the same mixing, adding red and black, and I added straight from the tube the orange and medium yellow, and then some white. So now I'm going to detail a little bit of this ship right here, and so what I'm going to do is actually add some phthalo blue also, forgot to add that, and we're going to create you know add some shadows in there so thalo blue right here so since my brush and and then i'm using them before since my brush is um, a little bit damp i'm going to mix it in with a little bit of black a little bit not too much right there you see it has some water in my brush and i'm going to add this color right in here just quickly add that in there and blend it out like this okay so I'm gonna add a little bit more darker in here I want this to be dark and maybe this corner right here as well let's add this corner a little bit darker Okay, and then maybe bring it out and darken some of this right in here randomly. Don't spend too much time on this. We're just creating little shadows. So doing the same thing um, in here. You can see my brush has some water in it. So it uh, it works nicely. So I'm going to add a little bit of the shadow in here as well. black I want to darken this again 
I want to make it stand out, right? So something like this. And then add a few more details doing the same thing. Make sure your brush is a little damp. So if it starts to dry out, add a little bit of water onto your brush and continue on. I want to add a little bit of the dark in here inside. Maybe in here as well. And then, of course, I'm going to clean out my brush. I'm going to add the white straight out of the tube. And let's brighten some of this area right in here. And maybe have it go up right until this point, point right here. So I'm going to clean my brush out real quick. And blend those in. And it's okay if you go over. Um, some of this area, we'll, we'll come back and detail that later. We just want to create a smooth transition. Okay, something like this. And then let's add a little bit of white right in here. and blend it out. Since the brush is damp, it works nicely. Okay, like that. Maybe even in here a little bit. Something like that. Okay, and I'm going to add some white maybe even orange. Let's add some color in our boat. So a little bit of white and a touch of orange. As you could see, make sure your brush is a little damp. And let's add a little bit of orange in here, some of these areas. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water. And I'm going to add a little bit of color. Not everywhere, though. Maybe in here a little bit. So I'm going to clean my brush again and dry it out onto the paper towel. And I'm going to quickly blend those colors in with my background. I'm creating a lot of different kind of transitions and shades right now. So 
um, and then once we have it all done we will start adding the details with our detail brush okay so maybe a little bit of that orange in here to create a little bit of some you know some of the color in there okay that's good let's add a little bit of the orange on some of these so let's actually switch to our half an inch brush and do that this little bit of orange and white and let's add a little brighter area because of the sun we're going to make it stand out a little more white and a little bit of orange okay And let it fade out to that gray blue color we only want it on some of the areas I want this to stand out a little more that's why I'm adding it on these okay And of course, doing the same thing. You know, dab it and play around with adding That bright color on some of these line part of this Let's add a few in here. Let's add some 
white. Let's pick up our detail brush now. I think it'll be easier. So our detail brush right here. Let's add some white. We're gonna create a few little bright lights. So maybe yellow, remember this yellow? Let's add, let's pretend there's a light right in there somewhere. And then there's one right above it right there. Okay. So let's continue and add a few, maybe there's one in here and one in here. Same thing here. Some bright ones glowing from this ship. So maybe there's one right in here. So I'm going to draw a line and start shaping out my my boat, right? So I'm going to have it fade out r roughly, something like that. Maybe this peak touches this corner. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water, swirl it so I can get a nice fine line. And let's create brighter. Something like that. So I'm gonna fix this part right in here clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna draw some windows in here. Now we have something right in here. And in here. Okay. So I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to add a little bit of this orange and go around where I added the, um, the lights and I'm going to add the orange right around it. I'm not going to cover the, I'm not going to cover too much of that light, but I'm going to add that orange around. It'll create a nice, nice glow. Even if it, you know, goes a little bit around. Um, that's totally fine. So dab your water, dab your brush in the water, and let's add that orange glow. That's from the light. Okay. And actually, I'm going to cover some of these. Okay. There you go. All right. Now, I'm going to clean my brush, and with the black, I'm going to go in and draw some windows. So I'm gonna go in and draw my little windows. There's one in there and then one next to it. Okay, and then one next to it. And maybe it fades out somewhere in there. I 
down my brush in the water, fix this area, take away the the yellow away and make it a little more defined. See? Have it fade out. So maybe Dab your brush in water and add a few in here. Maybe have it faded. Something like that. So I'm going to cover part of this yellow I didn't really like right here. And Remember this area. I'm going to draw a little line for fun like this and fade it out. Dab my brush in the water. Do the same kind of thing on this side. Have it fade out. This is where the detailing comes. So this is where you can spend a lot of time if you want on correcting and adding your um, details the way you want your ship to look. So maybe here I'm going to add a little window. Maybe here as well. something like that it doesn't have to be perfect let's continue adding our detail over here remember this we covered it so I'm gonna have it go and attach and I'm not gonna cover everything with black but I am going to bring it out a little further right in here same thing with this one and of course attach some of the ropes go over them if you want maybe add like a little details You know, on some of them, it'll make it more look realistic. Okay. With the black, we're going to continue, and I want to add. I want to add. Let's add the blue. Actually, so I'm going to clean my brush and straight blue nothing else just the blue let's make this blue right here let's remember this line we added let's make it colorful 
maybe this the the owner of the ship designed the boat and decided to add some color in his boat and so we're gonna add color and this could be black this could be any color you want I decided this blue Okay, dab my brush in the water, pick up more of this blue, and then continue. and have it fade somewhere in there. So that's good right there. Now maybe go back to the black and dab it in the water and swirl it to get a fine, go over, connect. and have it fade out. Now, continue with the black, and let's add remember this. I'm going to switch over to my number four. And add a little bit of blue and black to get like this darker gray color. And I'm going to blend this in in here. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water. Switch over and this is, you know, going back and forth with your brushes and trying to fix things. So I'm going to connect that lightly and have it fade. Oops. So let's try this again. I had a little too much wa uh, water on my brush, but I want to make a smooth transition from here. Going in. And fading out somewhere in there. So with the black. So now I'm going to thick make this stand out a little more. So dab it in the water so it can run smooth. And for fun, connect everything. You can make your boat look the way you want it to look, okay? And maybe there's something in here. Who knows? I'm going to draw
And for fun, let's add little details to our boat. And a few more details on it. Let's straighten out this line, remember? Make it a little more straighter and darker. So dab it in the water and this darkest color. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna pick up my number four and I'm gonna fade it out. So I'm gonna use this blue, maybe mix it in. This stalo blue with the black doesn't really matter that much, okay? And here I'm gonna fade this black out with my water. So not everywhere, but on some of, you know, basically we want a smooth transition. Continue, I'll add a few more darker ones in my water. Reflecting, we want this to be dark in here. Maybe dark in here. And maybe in here. Okay, it's coming together nicely. Um, a little more details. Let's do the same thing. I want to add a few more shadows in here. Maybe darken this area again. Okay, add a few more. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my flat brush and what I'm going to do is take some orange and white and part of the blue. Dab it in the water. And add some details to my water from the light. You know, we want to make some of this stand out. Use your finger if you want. 
it helps a lot. Dab it in the water and continue brightening. Some of this area. So I'm going to use my number four again, clean it out and to soften some of this far, far away ones. It helps soften it. So let's continue. Okay, something like this, maybe in here. Okay, maybe here, as it gets closer, let's add a few brighter ones from the light. So I'm gonna dab, gently press. Maybe dab my finger. And it helps blend those colors nicely in, so. Don't worry about doing it everywhere.
So I'll play around, maybe connect some of these. Once you added all the little, little details, you can connect some of them. Remember, there's no really right or wrong. It's all about the details. So once you... are happy with how it's turning out, you can stop. It's all on you. going to be on you. Okay, I'll be done for today. You can go back and detail your ship, your clouds, your, you know, sun, water. Totally up to you. Have fun with this. See what you can create. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you learned a lot. Please let me know what you thought down below in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Take care and God bless.